Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today I'm going to make a brooch for a raven. This is inspired by my Halloween live stream where I made a couple of crows. What you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire. I'm using black wire. You'll need some thinner wire to wrap in some beads. I have 28. You can use 26 or 24 gauge wire. I have a little pin. These pin backs you can get in my Etsy DIY shop. I bought them 30 years ago and I bought a lifetime supply. So I'm selling some of those in my shop. You need your tools. I have a variety of hematite and black beads and I have the template available in my Etsy DIY shop as well. So I'm just going to trace the template. I want to leave a couple extra inches to attach the pin form and so you can just go around and uh, trace it as you wish. You can rotate the paper as you go. So we're just going to form it around here and put the pliers down when you need to and just bring it around. Use the flat pliers if you need a more sharp bend. Just go around follow the shapes as best you can. You can take it off the template as you need. If you need to take it off to do some of the forming you can do that and just keep going until you can get the shape as you like it. Now these templates you can actually cut and paste them onto a word page to make them bigger or smaller. This one has two legs. I'm just going to, for the sake of simplicity, just going to do the one leg and make it more like a silhouette because I just don't want it to be too complex. So rotate the paper as you need to. Bring it in here. And then if you need a sharp bend, if you want to bend it back on itself, you can too. You can hold it and kind of bend it back on itself to get a really sharp bend in there. Bring it back. Same thing here. We could just bring this and bend it to the front if you want. Bring it around and then bend that back. And then we're going to bend that one up and that one across. Bring it down on here. Bend it down and that one up. So for the wing, I just kind of bring this up and then bend that one around, around and around. And then from there, if you want to make it wider, just bring it around, make it a little wider. We're going to place it back on here and then bend that one up. So I want a sharp bend. I'm going to use my flat pliers, just bend it up. And then here we can just bring this one around. See how it goes. Bend that one out here. And then you have sort of the basic shape of the raven. In the live stream, I actually did two feet and also I put a bead just at the side there and twisted it around with wire. So there's many different possibilities for this. This wire is a little long. I'll just clip it. I'm just going to bring this one around and bring it through here. You can also make this as a pendant. So you would just do a loop at the top. You can twist this a bit with your round pliers if you have to. Put the pin in there. Get it right stuck in there. And then wind this one around to secure it. So we're just going to wind it around through there once. You can put it through another time if you want or just wind it around this wire. So we have it attached in one place. Then we'll give it a little clip and then we're going to bring it over to this side. Push that one in. So now I'm just going to hold this pin here and then bring this one around so it's going to secure that one in place. So bring it around here. Get your flat pliers if you need to grab it. So go around a couple of times and then this one you're going to wrap around this part of the pin so it stays in place. So just rotate it a little bit 
and this one you're just going to bend around a couple of times and it helps to secure the pin so it won't wobble back and forth. So then you can clip it. Take this and rotate it. And there we have, you know, the pin is attached and we're going to hide all that wire with the beads. So I'm going to cut a couple of feet of this thinner wire. Don't worry if you run out because you're going to add some to it. So we can just start wherever you want. I'm just going to start at the head. So I'm just going to take this wire and wind it through. So we're just going to wind it through a couple of times to secure it. This 28 gauge is very thin. I would recommend 26 would probably be better. 24 is okay, but it's might be a little too thick. So now we're going to take this one here and we want to start putting some beads around there. So I have this tray of black beads. I'll just play around with using different sizes of beads and they don't all have to be black. I have some that are a little bit more brownish, um, whatever beads you want. I have the hematite beads as well. You could change up the colors as you like them. So I'm just going to bring this one across here. So I'm just going to attach this one here and then I'm going to work my way back. So just wind it in a couple of times. And I do want an eye bead. So what I'm going to do first is just put another black bead or it could be a hematite bead. And then I'm going to put a red bead for the eye. And then we'll put another black bead underneath. So that just get twisted in there. You could use your imagination with these, with the beading. We'll just twist that one around here. And then we want to put a couple of more beads. So put another one in here. Wind this one around to the back. And then we're just going to put one more bead in there. Try to get a little bead to go in the end. We'll just wind the little end in there and bring it around. And then you can clip it and just wind the wire in a little more if you want to fill it in a little bit more. These projects are very open-ended. You can just kind of go with the flow, do what you want with it, fill it in with some wire. You could even do like a chaos kind of weave if you want to do sort of the chaos weave of the wire. Uh, really the sky is the limit for this. I'm just going to fill it in with as many beads as I can. And once you've done the head, then you could work your way down in the rest of the body. You could do the wing first if you want. So we're just going to warm the wire around. You could do some big beads and small, some small beads. I'm just going to stick a bigger one on the end here. I'm really just playing around with this to see what, what it does. I'll stick to slightly bigger beads in the, in the wing just to differentiate it a little bit. I'm going to bring that one in here. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys create because uh, everybody's is going to be different. And this part, it kind of blends into the wing here. So I'm just going to start putting these to that side. I'm going to wind both of the wires together here because it looks like they're, the wing is overlapping the body there. So we're just going to keep putting these ones in. I keep working our way down. We'll just get a tiny one to go in the end. And if you have to just stick the wire back through the bead again, just to get it securely in place. And then you can wind the wire again a little bit there. We have the wing done. So now we're just filling the rest with some little tiny beads. And then for this part, the wing is coming up a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with the wire and kind of sew it in place. So we're just going to bring this kind of stitch it down a little bit to hold it in place because you want it to be as solid as possible. You're really going to just improvise with adding your beads and just go with, you know, the size of the beads that look good and stuff and a nice little mix. 
so this I'm just reinforcing the wing here to hold it in place and then once you've done that you can go ahead and clip that in. Now I'll just take some of the little brown seed beads to fill in the rest of the raven. So we're just going to go here and see what needs to be done and just go ahead and keep going with this until the whole bird is filled up. So I'll put a few more rows there. So the tail is done and now I'm just going to add another piece of the 28 gauge wire to fill in the rest of the bird. I'll just start sort of in the middle of the belly there and I'm going to fill it in with the seed beads. So let's just go ahead. That way part of the body is more consistent with the seed beads and the wing has a little more variety. So we're just going to go ahead and then hook it into the wing, bring it down here and then wind it around a couple of times. Up here, put another couple for the belly of the bird. So we'll put a couple of those. These seed beads are great. They're not too big, not too small. So I'm going to hook it into the wing. And we're just going to keep working our way around to fill in that area with the seed beads. If you see any little holes that are missing beads, just go ahead and take some more seed beads and just fill in the holes as need be. And then to fill in the leg you can just wind it with wire or you can add a few more beads on there. This is just the seed beads and then go ahead and if you want to just finish the end with wire just wind it around all the way down to here. Push it up if you need to and then you can just clip it off. So then if you need to you can adjust the beads in the wing. You can definitely use different kinds of beads in the wing. These ones are just kind of random. The pin just closes like that and you've got the little eye there. It's a little dark. You can add any beads you want. As I said earlier if you prefer to do two feet you can do two feet on the bird. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.